Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to be setting up our Oculus app um, to actually be able to develop inside of Unity an app that we can then run on our Oculus device. So, here I am on the developer.oculus.com website and if you've never set up a developer account yet, it's fairly easy. We just need to click on this manage button here at the top and it will take us over to the My Apps page. Now, if you haven't set up an organization or set up the developer uh, stuff yet, then there should be a thing here that just tells you to enter in a name for an organization and then it'll take you to where you can create a new app. So here I'm going to select create new app. I've already got one right here, but we're going to create a brand new one. So I'm going to click create new app. I'm just going to call it target hitter. Okay. And for the platform, I'm going to change this to Oculus Rift since I am developing it for the Rift. Uh, if you are choosing to go uh, go for the Go or Gear VR, you can select that one. But we're going to go for Rift for now, so I'll select that, and then I'll, si I'll click Submit. And here we are. We are now on this page here, which is pretty much uh, all the information for our app. Uh, over here, we have our app ID, which is what we actually need. So we're just going to select this copy it to our clipboard and this is what we need inside of Unity in the next lesson when we actually start to set up the project so uh, make sure you have this app ID here on hand. Uh, while we're here let's also go to our leaderboards and create our high score leaderboard. Uh, to do that we can go on the right hand side here select platform services and then down here in leaderboards we can select that and it will take us to where we can create leaderboards and just like any other game leaderboards allow you to rank players based on a score or really whatever you want uh, we're going to be basing the ranks off uh, basically the players high score so the player with the highest score is higher up on the leaderboard and the players with the lower scores are lower down on the leaderboard so we can just click on create leaderboard here and the name for that API this is basically what our leaderboard is going to be called um, I'll just call this one our highest score right here and down here in the sort order we have to select uh, higher is better or lower is better um, we're doing higher is better since the higher the score the, um, the better the rank is then but if you're doing something that was time based maybe you'd might pro you then probably want uh, lower is better but for us we're going to select higher is better and then click on submit and here we are we have our leaderboard set up um, the only thing we need from here is the API name, but we're not doing that until a bit later on in the course, so we can just uh, leave this here for now, but it's all set up and ready to go. And on the left hand side here we can see basically the hierarchy for this all. We have the manage tab which we selected earlier, we then have our organization name, and then we have our um, apps here. This is one I created before, and we have our target hitter up here, so I can select that. It will take us back to this page here where we can then enter in a bunch more information. Uh, we can add some screenshots, uh, content ratings, we can upload the app, we can set pricing, uh, and then submit it later on if you do wish to actually submit this to the Oculus Store. Um, but for us, we're just going to be testing it inside of Unity, and the only thing we need to test, uh, the only thing we need from here to test it inside of Unity, again, is going to be the uh, Oculus App ID. And to do that, we can just click on Get Started API and select our app ID right here. So in the next lesson, we'll be hopping inside of Unity and actually setting up the project, importing the assets we need, and then getting up a basic sort of structure for the project. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.